This is my seventh unboxing and try on of a Dia and Company style box. The theme of this box is Disney bounding. Everything in this box should be a US women's size 28 or 5X. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother. Today's video is especially for my plus size friends who wear US women's sizes 14 through 32. Dia & Co is a subscription fashion box company. And it's important to me that you know this box has been sponsored by Dia & Co. That means they've sent me the box free of any charges. No shipping, no handling, no tax, no styling fee. And I get to keep anything inside this box that I want free of charge. However, Dia & Co is not paying me to say anything. And this isn't an advertisement for them, it's a review of their product. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about the quality, the fit, and the style of everything in this box. Now you may have heard me say earlier that this box has a theme to it, Disney bounding. If you're not familiar with Disney bounding, it's something very special that Disney fans do. You see, inside of the Disney parks here in the US, if you are 16 years old or older, you're not allowed to wear a costume inside the parks because Disney doesn't want guests getting confused as to who is an official character and who is not. So what you can do instead to get around that is to dress in a way that sort of emulates your favorite character by putting together outfits made from your own wardrobe, but in colors and styles that are very similar to your favorite princess or your favorite villain. Here's a couple of pictures of me Disney bounding. In this first picture, I'm meeting with the queen at the storybook dining character dining event and you can see that I am wearing a red velvet bow headband, a dark blue shirt, and I'm also wearing some yellow pants with this. So that bow is very reminiscent of Snow White and the colors of the outfit, the blue top and the yellow bottoms, really fall in line with her particular outfit, which her top is like shades of blue and her skirt is yellow. So while it's not exactly on point with Snow White, it's reminiscent of her and that's a Disney bounding look. In this next picture, I had a little more fun with my Disney bounding look. It was my birthday and I was celebrating at the Crystal Palace with my husband and friends and I decided to Disney bound as Winnie the Pooh. And as you can see, I put my hair up in little buns to look like his ears. I'm wearing a red top and although the top isn't the same as the red shirt that Winnie the Pooh wears, it's a similar color. And again, Again, I'm wearing yellow pants and it kind of ties the whole Winnie the Pooh look together. If you've watched my previous Dia and Co style box, I'll put a link right up here in the corner for you. I had challenged my stylist Lisa to put together a box that was like the perfect summer vacation box and she knocked it out of the park. So when I did my review for that box, I challenged her again this time to do a Disney bound. Now I'm not sure if Lisa knows what Disney bounding is or if she was even able to put together a Disney bound box. I have no idea what's in that box, but I'll tell you this, we'll open it up and whatever's inside that box, I will try to put together a Disney bound look for you. I may have to pull together some other pieces in my wardrobe, maybe some other items from Dia and Co or some of my other clothing items, but I'll show you how to put together a Disney bound look that you could wear to work. All right, let's crack this baby open. Ooh, it is a dark and stormy night tonight, a perfect night to shop with my friends pop open my Dia box, try everything on, and see if we can put together a fantastic Disney bounding outfit. I love opening these boxes up live for you. Well, it's not really live, but I love having you see me open the boxes. As usual, you get your envelope that has your stylist letter in it and your return shipping bag that you can use to return anything you don't want or you can use it to send back exchanges if you need to exchange sizes for something. We'll take a look at this in a minute. There it is, the beautiful Dia & Co sticker on the white tissue paper. I love breaking this open. It's like Christmas every time. Well, I can tell that I see something I love already. Whatever is in here, it looks like it's probably a top, a knit top. Ooh, a very soft knit top. It's a very dark shade of purple. And purple is my second favorite color and it's one of the colors that I look best in 
Hence the purple cat eye glasses that I always wear. Let's have a look. Yes, indeed, it is a very soft top. Oh, this looks really perfect for Florida summers. It um, appears to have a nice long hemline and the sleeves look like they are elbow length sleeves, which is perfect. I love an elbow length sleeve. Oh, and look at that. There's like a cuff detail at the bottom of the sleeve. That's a little something extra that makes it look a little bit uh, more elevated than your average t-shirt. Now this is a jersey knit material and the very front of the pattern, I don't know if you can see it, let me put my hand in here to show you, but there's like a little very thin spaghetti straps that cross on the chest of the uh, shirt. It's a very deep U and there's like uh, some ruching right around the edge of the of the neckline. So it's a very deep U neckline with some ruching and this really pretty um, crisscross spaghetti straps in the front. Really cute, very stylish, very trendy. Now this top is 95% rayon modal, 5% spandex. It's machine wash cold and tumble dry low, very easy care. And this is a 5X from Molly and Isadora. I must say I am really pleased with this. I think this is a pretty high quality item. I'm taking a look at the stitching inside. The stitch actually allows for some stretch. That is fantastic. So you're gonna be able to move very easily and comfortably in this. There's enough stretch in the fabric itself to make it very comfortable, but it still has that sort of cotton jersey feel to it. And it's very, very, very lightweight. And even though it's lightweight, it isn't see-through, which is really good. So, you know, I guess like in the fall and winter here in Florida, I can definitely layer this with other pieces and jackets and it's gonna be thin enough that it won't be bulky underneath a jacket or cardigan. But um, in the summertime, this is gonna be great with shorts. You can definitely wear it with uh, dressier pants and skirts. I really like this top. I'm looking forward to trying it on. Let's see what's next. I think I see something green and green is my favorite color. This looks like it might be another top. Oh, maybe not. Wow, oh, I think it might be a dress. Let's just take a second here to admire this shade of green. It's a very deep, rich, beautiful forest green. This is a knit. It looks like it's nice and stretchy and believe it or not, it's not very bulky. It feels uh, much more lightweight than I was expecting. And I love the texture of this. I love the way it feels. It has, um, I don't know how to explain what this texture is, but it's like a, almost like a waffle sort of texture, but it looks a little more high-end than that. I wish I had the right words to describe it. Um, the seaming in here is really beautifully done. It's folded over and then finished as well. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that is some beautiful quality seaming around the neckline. I really like that. This appears to be like a fit and flare style skater skirt, so it's not super long. It might be shorter to mid length. Right underneath the bust line is like a built-in waistband. That is definitely gonna be very flattering to a lot of figures, definitely flattering to mine. Nice wide generous armholes. This is sleeveless, but it's got at the top, as you can see, it's very wide, so it's gonna hide your bra straps if you wanna go without a jacket. There's some princess seaming at the bust line, and then once you get past the waistband, that princess seaming resumes. So this is actually a multi-paneled skirt. So the skirt actually has some volume to it. I really like it. And guess what else? There's something really cool here as an extra detail. This dress actually has pockets. Man, do I love pockets in a dress. So this is kind of interesting. You have a really dark, rich, sort of autumnal color, this shade of sort of very deep emerald green or a forest green. And it looks like a heavier knit because of this texture of the fabric, which I hope I can show you. Let me see if I can get in nice and close. There you go, there is the texture of the fabric. Although this looks very autumnal, very fall-like because of the colors, it's very lightweight, so it's perfect for Florida. And I'm guessing that if I paired this with a heavier jacket or cardigan and some heavier tights, this is gonna be great for the fall. Or if I go with lighter hosiery and maybe a lighter cardigan, because I don't like to um, have my arms bare because I'm always cold in the air conditioning in the summertime, I'm sure that if a lighter cardigan with this would be perfect. I can actually kind of think right now of a particular princess that this might be a Disney bound for. 
<laughs> we'll have to see. Let's see what's in the box next. Looks like we have a pattern. Well, this next item, the pattern on it, it's got a black background with white polka dots and leaves, sort of tropical looking leaves in the pattern uh, in a color that's very similar to the dress. The very center of the leaves match the color of the dress. You can see the color of the dress is mirrored right here in the center part of the leaves where it's at its darkest. And what's interesting about this is I think it can be worn as a top or as a cardigan with the dress. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see. This dress is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. Definitely comfortable, very easy to wash, machine wash cold, tumble dry low, very easy to take care of. And this is a Molly and Isadora dress in a 5X. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a short sleeve item, but it looks like it may come down to the elbow. And at the very end of the sleeve is a double ruffle, very feminine. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that. That double ruffle is very cute. Here's something else that's really neat is at the waist, which you might not be able to see because this is black, but starting right here and going all the way around the back of the blouse, there's like a waistband that's built in. It reminds me of like the 1940s. As a matter of fact, this leaf pattern looks very 1940s. So it appears that the top sort of flares out from the waistband like a peplum top. Now we're looking at the inside of the shirt now. At the very back, at that waistband, you have some elastic in here, some elastic ruching. That must mean that when you put this on, it's a little snugger around the waist and that's gonna give you a very feminine waistline. I'm really interested to try this on and see what it's like. It's very lightweight and it has the feel of crepe. Now this top says it's 100% viscose. This is an item you need to hand wash and hang to dry and use a cool iron on. I do like the tropical theme of this, living here in Florida for sure. And um, it's lightweight enough that it can be worn year round. And I kind of think I might want to try this as a jacket with this dress, but I would probably also wear it by itself with a pair of pants or a skirt. I'm really interested in trying this on and seeing what it's like, but we have more things in the box. So let's get in there. The next thing in the box is a box. <laughs> Good things come in small packages. That's what my mom always said. Ooh, sparkly. Oh yeah, it just falls right out. Oh, how pretty. So what we have is a really simple Rolo Link chain. It looks to be about 30 inches or more, maybe 32 inches long. And on it, all along the necklace, there are these really pretty sparkling pendants the whole length of the necklace. You have a little extender on here to make this a few inches longer, but you can just slip it right over your head and it's a perfect length. I can actually wear it with what I'm wearing now. That's really pretty. Just the right touch of sparkle, not too much. I love it. I have to admit I have a ton of jewelry and I don't wear very much of it. But for some reason, these pieces that have been coming from Dia and Company, I wear the living daylights out of them. I have three necklaces from them now, and I keep wearing them and wearing them and wearing them. I keep go, I just keep reaching for them all the time because they seem to be pieces that are like right on trend, but they're not over the top. And they're well constructed, and I don't have any problems with anything tarnishing or breaking or anything like that. So they're very durable. I tend to be pretty hard on jewelry. So, yeah, I gotta say, I've really appreciated the quality so far of the jewelry pieces from D & Co. All right, let's look and see what our, I think one last piece is here. All right, I'm putting my hand in here and it feels like denim maybe. Like maybe it's a skirt or pants definitely pants and wow what an amazing color okay we've got a pair of skinny jeans and these are by Raffaella and it looks like I don't know what you guys would call this like a dark raisin color like a reddish purple maybe you would call it maroon or aubergine I'm not sure but it definitely sort of goes right between being a dark purple and a red it's right in between there it's really beautiful I have never seen this color in a pair of jeans before. Maybe you would call it like Merlot or Claret, like a wine color. I don't know. I feel like 
because it's right between red and purple, you could wear it with a lot of different things. So the label from Raffaella on this says that it's slim, trimming, it gives you lift in your booty, and it's supposed to be very comfortable as well around the waist. And Raffaella is a brand I have seen in the department stores before. So this is like a higher end brand of casual wear that you see in higher end department stores. Let's have a look at some of the details. Okay, first things first, here's what I'm noticing. All along the entire waistband of these pants, there is elastic in there, and that elastic is sewn right down on the jeans. You've got this nice, beautiful finished seam that's rolled over and sewn down. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be snug around the waist, but hug right against your waist. One of the things I have a problem with, I have a lot of gaping at the back of my jeans because my waist is smaller than my hips and belly. Um, the jeans generally tend to be really big around the waist. The next thing I noticed right away about these jeans Jeans, is they seem to have that signature back waistband that you see on almost all of the Dia and Co jeans, whatever brand they may be. And that's where you have just a slight peaking at the very t back of the uh, waistband. It's just peaked at the middle of the back. So that gives you that extra coverage that you need right where you need it. <laughs> because you know when you bend over and you may have that that gaping or your jeans slide down a little and maybe you see more than you you know people will see more than you want them to see but when it's a little bit peaked like this it's going to give you that coverage you need another telltale sign of quality is the zipper on a pair of jeans and whether or not you can get the button open which you can this looks to be a really high quality brass zipper very easy up and down no issues with that that's a nice quality zipper and then you also have the addition of this um, sort of matching hardware on the jeans that matches the button and zipper. So you have these brass rivets holding the pockets in place. <gasps> and look guys, really big generous pockets. I love that. I like to put my cell phone in my front pocket. This is perfect. Okay, if you guys are looking for another sign of quality jeans, take a look at the inside of the crotch of the jeans and look at this all four points of the jeans everywhere is rolled under and sewed down twice so the seams are nice and flat that's extra comfort and the seam all along the inside of your thigh again rolled over and sewn down flat so it doesn't rub and chafe against your thighs that is a really high quality stitch all right this is probably the most unusual pair of jeans i've seen in a while because they are 99 percent cotton how often do you see that and one percent elastane elastane i've never heard of that i've heard of spandex but i've never heard of elastane used um, that might account for the texture of the fabric which feels like a very heavy duty straight cotton denim it does not feel like it has any elasticity in it. However, when you grab the material, you do feel a little, you don't feel, you don't feel much stretch up and down. So like lengthwise, but on the width of it, you really get a lot of stretch there. So that's very interesting. What that tells me when you don't get stretch going up and down, it means the knees won't bag out. But if you get it side to side, it means that your thighs will be comfortable, your booty will be comfortable, your tummy will be comfortable. I'm guessing that if these fit me well, they're going to be extremely comfortable. Now these are a size 28, and if you followed my uh, the, the fashion vlogs I've done in the past, you know I started out six months ago, seven months ago, six, seven months ago, I started off um, wearing a size 32, and now I'm down to a size 28 in most brands. I've never tried Raffaella as a brand before, so we'll see if this will work for me. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so let's have a look at all the pieces that came in the box. We have this beautiful, rich, royal purple jersey knit top, this wine-colored pair of gorgeous jeans, this forest slash dark emerald green dress, and this lovely 1940s style blouse with a black background and a beautiful green leaf pattern. Okay, we'll have a look at our stylist letter and see what she has to say if this is meant to be a Disney bounding look. And let's not forget this gorgeous necklace that came with it too that really goes with everything. 
It even goes with what I'm wearing now. Let's have a look at our stylist letter and see what she did to kind of pull together what should be a Disney bounding look. That's if she read my note. Ah, okay, so I have a different stylist this time, not Lisa like I've had for my other six boxes. For the seventh box, I have Apsara. So Apsara is my stylist today and it looks like glancing through this, she did not read my note regarding a Disney bounding outfit, which is sad. Um, normally they do, so I'm sad they didn't this time, but I think what they pulled together is really cool. And I've already figured out how I'm going to create a Disney bound look from some of the items that are here mixed in with some other Dia & Co pieces I have. But let's read Aspara's letter. It says, hi Pamela, I hope this box finds you well. I'm excited to have the opportunity to style for you today. And I hope you love the pieces that I've chosen for you. So far I do. The broom skinny jeans are going to become a wardrobe staple for you this summer. The relaxed fit is so comfortable and the burgundy color makes them easy to pair with almost any look. Okay, so the jeans are burgundy. <laughs> Dress them up with the Andrea blouse, our Joliet necklace, and gladiator sandals. Go for a more casual look by pairing with the Carly top and canvas sneakers. The simple print Ortega dress is so fun. Wear it during the day with a denim jacket and ballerina flats for a retro look. Don't forget to share your feedback and please leave a star rating to let us know how we can make the perfect box for you. Thank you and I can't wait to hear what you think. And you can make your next box even better by visiting www.dia.com ratings. And when you do your rating of your box, that's where you have the opportunity to leave a note. And so far to date, my stylist has been the same person, Lisa W. Maybe she's on vacation, maybe she got a promotion, I'm not sure. But she always reads my notes and replies very specifically to the notes that I've left. So it looks like my new stylist probably didn't read my notes or she didn't know what Disney bounding was and she kind of left that alone but we're gonna make a look out of it. We're gonna try everything on, check it out, see how it fits. Well, <laughs> after having a good hard look at this top, I realized that a lot of the things I'm wearing are way too big. One of the amazing things about a subscription service like Dia & Co, is that you can place orders to have a new box sent to you once a week, <laughs> once every two weeks, once a month, once every couple of months, so that if you're transitioning up or down in sizes, you're going to have options come to your home more frequently. And the great thing that you've probably seen with this box is they put the outfits together for you. So, you know, you don't have that stress of going out to a store and trying to figure out what size works for you. And here's the thing, if you find some things too small or too big, you can exchange it for the correct size free of charge as many times as it takes to get it right. And uh, I think we got this top right, right off the bat. Now this top is a lot shorter than what I normally like to wear. I generally like my tops way down here, um, but that's probably because I've been wearing my pants really, really big, much bigger than I'm supposed to. Um, this is These are size 28 and I've been wearing pants in size 32 and size 30 and clearly they're too big because they're all baggy in the crotch, which is what I'm trying to hide with my shirts. <laughs> so if you just wear pants that are the right size, you don't have to hide them and uh, your tops can be a normal length, so yeah. This top is fantastic. I love that little elastic panel at the back so that it kind of cinches you in a little bit and gives you more of a shape and a waistline. I love the length of the sleeves, the elbow length sleeves. I love the very flirty, very feminine um, double ruffle on the, on the ends of it. I mean, the neckline is pretty. The pattern is pretty. It's very like 1940s retro. I just adore this. And the great thing is, because it is button up all the way down, I could wear it as a cardigan if I wanted to. Now here's the other thing that surprises me about this outfit, is that these burgundy pants go really well with this black top with green leaves on it. I would never have put this together myself. I would have just thought, those two things don't go together at all. But apparently, when you put them on, they look fantastic. You gotta trust your stylist.
while I am absolutely smitten with the color of this top, I'm not 100% sold on the cut. And I think it's because for me, the sleeves feel like they're really snug. The sleeves are fitted. They're close to my body. The shirt isn't like tight in an uncomfortable way, not at all. Um, there's lots of stretch in the top. It's a nice soft knit, but I'm not used to wearing things that fit my shape so closely. I tend to wear things that sort of float away from my body, away from my midsection, and away from my hips. So this is a bit of a departure for me. The length of the top is perfect. That's just right where I like a top to fall. What I'm not massively in love with here is the shadow and definition right in my midsection. Now, that might just be me, other people may look at this and think it looks fabulous and perfect, but I just like to have things float a little bit away from the body. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is a good fit for me and a good look? Or have I been wearing baggy clothes for so long that I've lost touch with what actually looks good on me? And maybe I should consider wearing things that are a little more body conscious. I'm really interested to hear your opinion. Please leave that down below in the comments. this dress. Now when I pulled this dress out of the box I immediately loved it because of the color but man is this thing comfortable and it's lightweight and it's stretchy but the texture of the fabric just I don't know it just gives it that little elevation you know it classes it up a little bit extra. The necklace is perfect with it and even though I don't like to go with my arms bare because I usually get cold. I kind of want to in this dress because the armholes fit so perfectly. A lot of times I find sleeveless dresses like this, the armholes are so big for me that you see everything, but you don't with this, you don't see anything. It's cut beautifully. I love this built-in waistband, it fits perfectly. It falls at just the right place. It's not too high up, not too low down. These pockets are a miracle. And the whole fit and flare design is just so comfy. I actually really do like this blouse worn as a jacket with it. I know that's not how the stylist intended it, but let me look at my mirror over here. Gosh, I just think it's really cute. I think it looks really good together. The greens match really well and <laughs> it makes the pattern pop. It's definitely very feminine. So I think that if uh, I wanted to throw something over this to stay warm in the office, this might be a good option. <laughs> I think I ended up getting one extra outfit out of this box. What's that you say? I promised you a Disney bound look? I gotcha. I found this long loose cardigan that I got from Dia & Co along with the gorgeous green dress in the box today and a belt from Torrid and a bow that was gifted to me made for kind of the perfect subtle Disney bound of a favorite princess. So although you may not overtly right away immediately think of Merida because I don't have her flowing red dresses, it kind of evokes sort of a feeling of her, a similar sort of color, the um, leather detailed belt, the bow that matches her theme and colors, and the lacing up the back of the cardigan gives it that sort of period feel. I bet you anything, if I wore this look to work, no one would really have any idea I was Disney bounding Merida, but I would still know, and it would make me feel fantastic. Disney bounding can be a lot of fun, whether you're going to Disney or you're just going to the office. Thanks so much for shopping with me today and I hope all of your shopping trips are magical. Don't forget to stick around and take a look at all the other videos around here of different shopping trips and shopping hauls that I've taken in the past. I think you'll have a lot of fun watching those too. In the meantime, remember life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.